Hey guys, what's up? First ride on 11.4.9, full self-driving, hardware four, let's go. All right, so we got the new update. Uh, perfect day for it, it's a little bit rainy. And so we get to see how these automatic wipers work. I understand now you can turn off the wipers. Hey, pretty good start. They actually cleared the window, nice. Now let's see if they stop when it's uh, when it's unneeded. Full self-driving may be degraded, poor weather detected. So yeah, we are on the holiday update. First drive on 11.4.9. I am gonna be pretty careful to keep my eyes on the road. I'm aware that uh, as we got a little stutter step there on that turn, but nicely done. Um, so yeah, you gotta keep your eyes on the road. I do not wanna get enough strikes to lose my privileges. Um, so yeah, here's first good test. This road here has no center markings on previous versions. The car has stayed too far to the left when going over the hill. And so it's dangerous because um, you can't see the car that's coming over. So really the car should stay to the right. And I've had to disengage on a number of occasions. Apply slight force to the steering wheel. We got our first nag, a much bigger font size. Um, after this recall. So, so far we're still, yeah, I'm gonna have to take over. Still staying too far to the left on this unmarked road. Let's re-engage once we get over the hill. Um, so yeah, kind of disappointing to see that, that that didn't change. I, I did catch some uh, information about, you know, they were gonna disengage full self-driving on some roads. I'm not sure what that meant. It was still operating on that road, but no fix to that. Um, you could call it drift to the left. So as we look, creep out here to the left, pretty nice. A uh, little shadow stop there, and here we go. So we got just a drizzling of rain. Some other update features, uh, apply slight turning force to the wheel. Um, yeah, the high fidelity parking is fantastic. Was testing out that last, testing that out last night, absolutely fantastic. So we have a good second little area that I like to test here when we get up to this railroad track. Um, previously, sometimes FSD has some problems picking up where to stop. This particular intersection has a railroad track and then a stoplight right after it. And I've had situations where I've stopped before the, the railroad track and then kind of blown through the red light and I've had some other awkward situations. So we're gonna be going right here. Let's see how it handles it. We do have a red light. Yeah, those nags are big and bold and in your face. Thank you, NH NHTSA. Okay, here we go. We're stopped before the railroad track. Now it's gonna creep. We do have somebody coming behind. Now I could do the maneuver where I go forward here to the right of the truck. I do have somebody behind me, so I'm gonna take over and do that, actually. This is uh, kind of a right turn lane. This is just what a human would do. I'm not gonna hold up people's day for my testing as we pull that old maneuver and re-engage. Please pay attention to the road. It's telling me I am paying attention. Please pay attention to the road, I am. If this thing is gonna force me out of FSD, I'm looking straight at the straight forward and it gave me two loud nags, please pay attention to the road. I don't know how much more attention I could have paid. As we stop at this light. So far, uh, I will say the windshield wipers are working great. I mean, it's a slight drizzle. A lot of nags. I mean, I will say it knows that there's poor weather. It's letting me know that. So I would, I guess, expect more nags than normal. But I'm gonna let you know any other changes I feel. So yeah, the wipers have not really noticed, haven't noticed them, which what I mean is that's a good thing. They appear to be operating as I would expect them to operate. So definitely some improvements there, it seems. I think before on 11.44, these things would have just been going mid or high right now on just a drizzle. They seem to be going at appropriate speed. 
as we approach this red light. Yeah, nice drizzly day. Good day for a first drive on 1149. All right, so we are, what is it wanting to do here? It's wanting to go left. All right, interesting double lane change there. We could have gone straight, um, but it's fine. Took a little route change, cut across two lanes of traffic. Nobody around, so that's totally fine. As we proceed through this intersection. It did feel like a pretty smooth lane change there. Um, oh, so the other thing I wanted to talk about, so we're on 1149. This is a 2023 Model Y hardware four. It appears to me, this is big news. I mean, this is huge news in my opinion. It appears to me that hardware three and hardware four models have now converged FSD onto 1149. And this is the first time it's been that way. I mean, people driving hardware four vehicles know as we go into a road where I slipped during the winter driving, uh, people that are driving hardware four models know we've been on 1144 for a long time. So it's pretty cool to see that we have now converged with other hardware three models. Now, I think what that means is that the hardware three models are not using the radar sensors anymore. And most likely all of the vehicles are now full, fully camera based only. I don't know that for sure. That's a suspicion though. Um, but we all are on the same model. If somebody out there is driving a hardware four and you're on a different version than 1149, let me know. But it appears to me that everybody during this holiday update is getting FSD 1149. I think that's a pretty cool development. I would expect the wipers to be going any second here. I'm seeing more droplets than I want to see as we come to a nice full stop stutter. Are we going to go? There's no stop sign on the left or right. Really cautious. That seems similar to 1144 in the past. As we come up to another, uh, what do you call this? Two way stop. Nobody stops on the left or right here. Cautiously proceeds through nicely. We do have a busier street up here in 0.1 miles. We're going to be going right on it. Yeah, uh, you shouldn't be this far to the left here. It really, when there's no center markings, it really needs to do a better job of staying on the right of the road. I understand if it thinks it's just a single lane, lane road, like here we are going down the middle of the road, which is fine, there's no cars coming, but this is a two lane road. So yeah, so far a ton of nags, but like I said, it is a drizzly day, so we're gonna be going right here. Stops nicely, nobody to the left, we are clear to go creeping forward for visibility. All right, so we're coming up on uh, this 6th Street here. We're actually gonna be going left here. This is a busier road, so let's see how it handles it. Uh, nobody from the right. I can't even see if there's anybody to the left. There is a vehicle to the left. Um, and I think it saw it before I saw it, because I have a little hill here that I couldn't see past. And I think it picked it up before me. Now we have cars coming from the right. It could go right now if it were aggressive, but it's gonna wait for these two cars, which is totally fine. Better safe than sorry. We should be clear after this car on the right. As it creeps slowly, slowly. Applying a force to the, to, uh, when it says apply a force to the steering wheel, when the steering wheel is turned all the way upside down, it's difficult. I gotta find the little volume knob. And I don't want to jerk the steering wheel when I'm in the middle of a turn. All right, so again, get to the right. As we come up to this uh, stoplight, we will be going left here. Both of these lanes are left turn lanes, and it needs to pick one, which it does. There's also railroad. Uh, there's not a railroad track here, but there, it's an old railroad track, so there's railroad lights. Oh, no, there is a railroad track here. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've never seen a railroad a train come through there. So yeah, so far so good. Nice clean lane change here. So yeah, a lot of exciting things coming. Check out my video on that high fidelity parking assist. I mean, this is a game changer. I actually saw somebody interest uh, something interesting that somebody posted about the high fidelity parking visualization is actually better at picking up road signals like this uh, or road uh, 
markings like this right turn lane um, than the normal interface and it's true it picks up a lot more well it displays a lot more than you see just on the normal FSD screen so I don't know if the computer is picking up those lane markings or not as part of, as part of FSD but you can see them really clearly on the uh, high fidelity parking and I've done a couple videos where it's pretty clear that the computer knows or should know that you're in a certain turn lane by the markings on the road and it needs to incorporate that but we'll see uh, version 12 will change everything of course all right so we're approaching our destination we do have a roundabout here that we're going to be going straight on I'm gonna see just how it does here and then we'll end the video after this roundabout as we've got a car pulling out is it gonna stay in its lane? It does. We've got a pedestrian walking across the street. Busy, busy Christmas shopping time as we approach this roundabout. It is stopping at this crosswalk. And now let's see if it progresses. We do have a GMC to our left, a legacy ice vehicle. All right, now we can go and it does proceed. I'm going to be posting the roundabout that I have consistently failed at on 1144, basically driven over the roundabout. I'm going to be posting a video shortly and testing 1149 on that and seeing how it does. Um, that'll be a big test to see if there's any change. But yeah, so far on this drive, um, what have I noticed? The windshield wipers are working better. Otherwise, it feels very similar to 1144. Um, very, maybe a little bit smoother in some places. A little more confident in some places um, but yeah very very similar it picked up this pedestrian here on the left as he crosses that was really really nicely done he was kind of on his phone and just leaning out and now we are at a dead stop I'm gonna give it some accelerator I think it just stopped at that crosswalk it doesn't want to go anymore oh probably because we're almost at our destination so uh, yeah I'm gonna end the video here we're gonna just be creeping along thanks guys check out that video that's gonna be coming up on the roundabout that failed with 1144 so many times. I'm going to be putting out a short on that and uh, giving it a test. So thanks for coming along on this first drive with 1149. We'll see you soon.